So this is a video on how to make 2D Unity games focusing on WY's audio interactive software. And this is how to uh, set up interactive music in your scene. So triggering if you want to go from one room, you want to have one room play a, a background music and you transition to another room and it plays another one. it continues to play the previous one in the same frame as the previous music this is how to do it for a 2d game focusing because for like 3d game uh, w wise is more optimized for like 3d games but there is a way to do it for 2d games and this is how to do it and this is i'm about to thoroughly go through each of the sections so you can see how i set it up so you have the audio the events tab, sound banks, game syncs, share sets, sessions. I don't have anything in these last three in Cor Corey's. So basically, uh, in WYS, you have this interactive music section, and this is how the actual music is created, similar to like a a, a sound design software or like you know any music programs that you can use to create beats and all that it, it, it all happens in here and um so if you go to one of the sections you can see like the the frames here but so the way i had it set up before i go to my unity project is you need to have your audio these like the music uh, switch containers which i don't know um this is yeah i have to use this this is the main focus of like how to get it work because at first when I set it up it it will play it would trigger the music in each of like the rooms but like it it will, it will start from the beginning it, it it won't flow based on the frame that it's currently in it, it will start from the beginning and that's why I don't want to happen I want the first music to transition to the second music but go on, on the same frame that it was on I don't I don't want it to start from the beginning. So I have my switch containers here. Then I think this is the playlist, what they call this? Is that what they call this? Playlist. Yeah, you, you got your music switch container, the underneath that is the mu music playlist container, and the underneath that is your music segments. So so these are my music segments. So these are just the way I did it is I just copy and paste because I, you know, I have like I categorize it as like the different rooms I want to play each of the music. And how to, and then I make another video on how I actually set it. Up. I just want to show you how it looks so you can like replicate it from each section. And you have your events, which is what you really what you need. You got your sound bakes. Let me go to the sound banks tab. See, so I created my events right here. I separated so I have like living room music, hallway music, and bathroom music. I wonder if I could just have music and then like, but nah, I just separated. I separated, I categorized it the same way like I did the events. Bathroom, hallway, living room, sound bank. Oh, it's the sound bank, I just have like a music. That's where I got it from. Yeah, I just have music category. So all you do is just like oh living room music, you drag it into the music, and then that right here you see events default music living room. So this is where Unity reads it, you know the object. So in Unity, you know, it's saying like um, it's going to play whatever this object. Th these are called like these are considered objects in WIs. So it'll read as like I'll oh, play this music, um, but. It, it, Based on the way you set it up, so in my, in my example is on triggers. So I want you to go. I want you to see how I got my set up. Um, well, where's the other category? Profile designer. And again, I make another video on like how to make, how I actually made like the events or how I actually made the the switches. These are like the switches. 
that that's for another tutorial. But for now, just see how this is set up. There's another some type of Okay, that's that okay, here we go. This is important. So this is I went to the events and I am in the designer. And this is where I have wait, living room. So this is how I got to work. And I think I don't need it. So in here I got play but music switch container. But only in the first room that the the music starts on. I f and then I got set switch to living room um music. But at first I didn't have this music switch container, I had like the living room music and it wasn't working that way. Like it would start from the beginning and I'll go to the second room. So the key thing is to have the music switch container, which it is this entirety of all the playlists, which is all oh, it, it knows to read that switch container and then switch from each of the music segments or like the playlist because everything is in the same music container. Like it knows, you really knows like, oh, these are all the objects that you mean from the, the switch container. Okay, cool. So that that's important. So let me go back. I have my music switch container right here. Play music switch container on the first music that's being played. So delivery room music, for example. And then in the other ones, then you go and play the other switches. So I got hallway one as a switch. And then I have bathroom, which is another switch. So that's important right there. Uh, now let me go into my Unity project and show you how I got it to work in a 2D uh, game project. So here we in Unity. This is the WYS picker section right here. See, I have my switches set up right here. Sound banks. Events. Events. And then again, when you and your WYS, make sure you save it and make sure you to generate the sound bank. And you come here, you always go to refresh project and generate sound banks. Like every time you make changes in your WYS project, in Unity, you want to always constantly generate sound banks. So now over here, it's quite simple now. Well, it's simple now, but it took me days and days to figure out to integrate it into 2D. I thought I had to make custom scripts, but I don't need to do it. I just have to like mess around and it got to be a way. It got to be a way to make it work for 2D games as well. So, in the the way I got this set up is I have. Let me go back to my inspector. I have different triggers, which is represented by these invisible colliders. See if I go into edit. See. So I got different rooms. I have like that. So this is like the living room, and then I'm gonna show you like the the hallway. Edit. See, so these are the, the triggers. When I'm in the first room, it's going to trigger the living room. When I walk into the bat uh, into this hallway, it's going to trigger the hallway music. So, the way I got that set up is now it's simple now, but first it wasn't. You're going to need to have your AK Ambient script. Your AK, and this is when you get WIs already integrated into Unity. It, all this comes with the WIS function, so I guess I can make another video on how to like in fully integrate WIS if you don't know how to. But if you already have, all you, you can just add like AK Ambient. So I'm adding it to my invisible trigger colliders. So all you do is go to add component and then, oh, AK, and then they get everything listed. Oh, okay, I want my Ambient. Boom. AK Ambient. Boom. That's how I got each of the different components. So you need AK Ambient, AK Game Object, AK Switch, you get the box collider, AK Bank, those are the section, those are the features that you need. For the, and I think I only had that for, yeah, that's all you need for the, the trigger that starts the music. But then when you go to the other triggers, that's like a continuation from the starting point, all you need is AK trigger enter and then AK switch. AK trigger enter, it, it just, uh, you want to set the particular trigger object. So that way, like, all movable objects not trigger. You just want that one object that triggers it when it collides with that invisible collider. 
Because if I don't have this, then my enemy is going to trigger and is going to play the music so many times. Like, no, you just want the main character, the, the playable character to trigger the music. So now, after that, yeah, so you just... You just set it up so AK trigger enter. Use other for some reason, I had to use other object. I know I was looking at three D tutorial videos. They saying, "Oh, you don't. You need to do the opposite," but it didn't work for like two D for some reason. It, it makes sense like why you would not check mark that, but like for some reason for the two D game, I had to check box that for every section that has that. So like in the AK ambient, it has that, and then in the AK switch, it has that. So I had to, I had to switch, I had to check mark that for 2D game for some reason. And then, after that, it's, you, you go to the name, you set up like living room music, you set up, these are the events, you put that in, in this option. And then right here, I put my switch here, living room music, this is my switch. So you just like, and don't forget, since for me I want to trigger it, I have to put AK trigger enter. AK trigger enter here. And AK trigger enter here. So three times I have to put AK trigger, and this is the sound bank, so I have to select music right there. And unload on destroy. So that's how I set it up. And then when you go to the other triggers, all you got to do is have AK switch. And AK trigger, that's it. And make sure you check mark, use other object. And then this is the end result. I'm going to just show you the first two rooms. If it plays up. If it plays, no. Turn this down a little bit. Yo. Hear that? So yeah. And you can tell, let me go back to my WYS. So I'm not tricking you. Like I, those are the two music right there. That I created in WYS. Oh, my sound designer created in WYS. And by the way, this this game is called Cyberflux, and this is my upcoming 2D shoot 'em up game, focusing on music interaction like that. So this right here proves you that I created those two. My sound designer created those two beats. So when I go to the living room, it plays that. I actually want to go to the, how do I switch? Here we go, living room, then switch into the hallway. Uh, this is not it. Oh, I have to go to the music container. Now I can play the living room, and then transition to the hallway. Back to the living room. I hope this clears up everything and these are the steps that I had to take in order to make it work for 2D since WYS is fully optimized for 3D games but it is a way to make it work for 2D as you can see how I did. So don't give up, keep striving for greatness and work on your projects. Don't let any obstacles bring you down.